What's going on everybody, Diallo Ricks TV back with another video and in today's video we'll be discussing a potential trade between the Los Angeles Lakers and the Dallas Mavericks. This article is per heavy and the headline reads, proposed trade lands the Lakers two sharp shooters and a starting point guard for Russell Westbrook. It goes on to say the Los Angeles Lakers are expected to try to trade Russell Westbrook this summer and CBS Sports Sam Quinn has an idea involving the Dallas Mavericks. He says although the Mavericks may not even and have interest in acquiring Westbrook from the Lakers. Quinn believes a trade sending Russell Westbrook from Los Angeles to the Dallas Mavericks for Spencer Dinwiddie, Tim Hardaway Jr., and David Bertans could benefit both teams. He says, quote, the Mavericks viewed the Kristaps Porzingis contract as so toxic that they moved out at the deadline, not for upgrades or even cap relief, but the consolidation, Quinn wrote. The Spencer Dinwiddie and David Bertans deals combined for a similar price. Dinwiddie has played well in Dallas thus far, but that was a happy accident. The deal was made for financial reasons and if cap flexibility is motivating the Mavs moves right now, Westbrook could potentially could get them off some of their other long-term deals. He says, quote, if Dallas could use Westbrook to escape the Bretons and Tim Hardaway Jr. contracts, it could possibly even create max cap space as soon as 2023 depending on what other moves it could make. He says, this all relies on the Lakers wanting Dinwiddie, Hardaway and Bretons though and that doesn't feel likely. It says, according to ESPN's trade machine, the Lakers trading Westbrook to the Mavericks for Dinwiddie, Hardaway, and Bertans is eligible to be made in this offseason. So if you guys would like to read the full article, the link is in the description box. So I think that this will be a great trade for the Los Angeles Lakers, and I definitely think that this trade would benefit both parties. However, I think that if the Lakers' intentions are to keep LeBron James long term, and if they think that this trade will ultimately convince him to stay short term yes this is a great sale but when i say short term and i say in the short term i mean up until the all-star break and the trade deadline which will be enough time for the bronze sexuals to start pointing fingers and making excuses and will be on the attack claiming that lebron james doesn't have any help and that these players need to be traded blah 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 long term it would backfire because LeBron James, he needs all the superstars and all-stars possible on one team. All to make him confident and make him macho and run to Twitter and get them Twitter fingers moving again. Just to tell all the people who have been talking about my squad, the age, being in the senior citizen's home, walking on canes, wheelchairs, walkers, etc. I'm going to ask you one time and one time only. Keep that same energy, okay? So if the Lakers were to make this trade, just be prepared for this deal to go wrong and the Lakers will be right back in the position that they are in now, where all the bronze sexuals in the media is blaming the new coach, blaming Spencer Dinwiddie, blaming Tim Hardaway Jr. and his dad for creating a man, for him coming out the nutsack, okay? David Bertans blaming the basketball, blaming the rim, blaming the refs, blaming the fans, blaming the arena, blaming, 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 okay? for the reason why the Lakers can't win. Now, LeBron James is going to need another five more superstars in order for the Lakers to at least reach a play-in tournament, let alone get in the eighth seed, because he couldn't do it this year with Russell Westbrook and Malik Monk, right? Now, I think in hindsight, if the Lakers do make this trade, it would make perfect sense considering LeBron James likes to be surrounded by perimeter shooters. But being as though LeBron James' main objective seems to be chasing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar on an all-time scoring list and understanding that the West is too deep and too far competitive and that the Lakers fans have aspirations every year of getting the title and that 2020 title isn't going to be enough, he knows that he's going to get the blame. Eventually, people are going to wake up and there'll be so much pressure on him to deliver that he'll understand that he can't live up to that pressure. He'll be focused on chasing Kareem on the all-time scoring list, leave the Lakers because he knows it's too difficult of a task. And if the Lakers do make this trade, it will be in their best interest to get as many draft picks in return as possible just in case LeBron James decides to leave and the Lakers are unable to make the playoffs again and he decides to depart and goes back to Cleveland. Or, or wherever he chooses to go and leave the Lakers empty handed empty nothing in their hands okay so if I'm the Lakers I make this trade and I'm playing it safe getting draft picks and keeping the same group of talent you know I put them alongside Malik Monk Austin Reeves and Wayne Gabriel which means trade LeBron James 
which means they should trade LeBron James, which means they should trade LeBron James. Let me repeat that again. Trade LeBron James. Laker organization. Trade LeBron James. Okay. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all get in that comment box. Like, share, subscribe, and <laughs> I'm out.